The fourth step in the budget process is to consider making adjustments. And that's often something we especially would want to do if we are overspending our income. In other words, we have a negative net monthly cash flow. And what you might want to think about in those cases is your current expenses. And if there's a way to adjust that and still achieve some of what you need, but in a different way that maybe cost less. Um, so let's look at a couple of examples of that. Gadis pays $135 per month for cable TV with some movie channels included. Sometimes it's a good idea to look at not just the monthly amount, but what that ends up being over the course of a year. So in this case, let's look at the annual cost for a cable package. $135, this is per month, but if I wanted to convert it to a yearly amount, I would multiply this by 12 months. So Gadis is actually paying every year $1,620 for this cable package. So if Gadis wants to change that and save money, then one option, and what she does, is she investigates Hulu. Hulu is an online platform that allows you to stream certain um, television shows and movies. Hulu costs $14.99 per month, she discovers, if she wants to go with the no ads package. She also finds when she goes to the site that she can bundle Disney Plus and ESPN with Hulu for an additional $5 per month. Maybe this is appealing because the ESPN, there are some sports uh, events that she likes watching, and ha maybe Cadiz has a couple of kids who might enjoy Disney+. Plus. She also discovers she can bundle HBO Max with Hulu for an additional $15, which would help with some of those movies she'd be missing out in terms of the cable TV package she had. Let's look at what this would cost annually if she did this Hulu package bundled with HBO, um, Disney+, Plus, and ESPN. So remember that's $14, and 99 cents for the basic package, no ads. Then $5 if we add Disney Plus and ESPN, and then 15 for adding HBO Plus. So basically adding those two, we add an extra $20, so this becomes $34.99 per month. And then the annual cost of that would be to take that monthly amount and multiply by 12. So 34.99 times 12 gives us an annual cost for this Hulu package of $419.88. So let's consider how much Gadis would save annually if she discontinued cable and signed up for this Hulu package. So currently, she is spending $1,620 per year on that cable package. Hulu would cost her $419.88 per year. So when we subtract that, we see that each year she would save just a little over $1,200, specifically $1,212. So this is how much she would be saving per year and so what Gadis would now have to think about is, does that, is that worth it? This is a lot of good savings. She could maybe um, have uh, you know, a really nice dinner once a month with that savings. She could do a little mini vacation to the coast um, with that savings. She could put it into savings or use it for um, uh, some, some extra money for holiday spending, or even maybe make a couple of car maintenance with that. So Gadis might look at what um, would be helpful to her for having this amount of money. But she also may think about what's important in terms of why she had the cable to begin with. There's, there's something about the cable that was really helpful for her to have. For instance, one thing that she might need to think about is does she have internet bundled with the cable? Okay, is her cable and internet connected? Is that the case? If that's the case, then she would need to think about having to pay, um, pay extra to have internet from a different 
organization. So because if she gets rid of cable TV, maybe she doesn't have the internet through them anymore. So she might have to think about how much that would cost her separately. And that would eat into that $1,200 if she had to pay for internet separately. So there are multiple things to consider. But by laying it out, she could make and looking at the numbers of how much each package costs, she actually can make an informed decision about whether she should make this adjustment to her budget. Let's look at a different scenario where we make an adjustment related to transportation costs. Burhani drives an average of 1,200 miles per month in a minivan that gets 15 miles per gallon. With gasoline priced at $4.15 per gallon, how much would Burhani save each month if she bought a monthly tries transit pass for $100 to use for most of her travel, thus reducing her miles driven in the minivan to 300 per month. So Barhani is considering um, trying to save on her, how much she spends on gas by using the bus is kind of what it comes down to here. To understand exactly how much money she would save and whether it would be a good decision or not, we need to make to actually do the calculation on what her current scenario costs and what the new scenario would cost to see if it would be worth it for her. So let's look at her current spending related to driving this minivan right now. To think about how much she's currently spending, we need to think about how much uh, money she's spending on gas. And to do that, we need to know how many gallons of gas she uses. Um, and that's based on how many miles she goes. So let's go back to the first value that was given, 1,200 miles she drives per month. To actually work out how much gas this is, we need to think about her fuel economy. So her fuel economy for a vehicle isn't very good. It's only 15 miles per gallon. So we could divide the miles she tra travels by 15 miles per gallon to work out how many gallons she actually is using up. 1,200 1200 miles divided by 15 miles per gallon is 80 gallons of gas each month. Um, to figure out the cost of that, we could take 80 gallons and multiply by the price per gallon for 15. And that would give us that Burhani is spending $332 each month on gas. So the current spending is $332 per month on gas. All right, let's look at her proposed alternative. Now in the proposed alternative, um, the big thing here is that she's no longer going to be driving as much. She's only gonna be driving 300 miles during the month. Um, we can work out how much gas that is and calculate the cost of the gas by dividing by 15 miles per gallon, just like we did above. 300 divided by 15 miles per gallon is only 20 gallons of gas used. That's going to cut her um, cost of gas quite a bit. 20 gallons times 415, $4.15 per gallon, is going to be only $83 in gas each month. But we have to keep in mind that that's $83 in gas, but we also for her to use the bus, she had to pay that $100 of the TriMet Pass. So that's really $183 per month for this new alternative. So we've got our current spending, our proposed spending. So she will save, if she makes this adjustment, she will save the difference between those two. If I take 330 Two dollars and subtract 183, we get that she will save $149 per month. So that gives us our answer. That's how much she would save. And what she can then do with that information is think about whether that is worth it for her. Now that may be a lot of help. Um, maybe that is just enough to put her in a break even position in terms of her um, situation with her budget. Maybe she was overspending and this would put her back into um, positive and having a little bit of money to, for um, extra expenditures that come up each month. Or maybe she looks at this and says, you know, I'd rather save the money somewhere else because 
um, having my car is it's much more convenient than this is worth to actually be able to have my car available when I need to use it instead of having to rely on the bus because the bus might be a little less convenient. So she might like go back and forth. Another thing she might consider is that the bus makes her feel good that she's not spending, uh, um, putting as much exhaust in the air in terms of environmentally. So that might be a plus in the, the bus, bus category. But she has the, the numbers numerically to actually make an informed decision about her spending if she calculates it out.